Hello, hello, hashtag health, wealth, life, day 167. Uh, very quick message today, very quick, and it'll be less than four minutes. Here we go. I've been taking ice cold showers. Why? Why the hell would I do that? I never would have thought about doing that before, but there's a lot of evidence to suggest the importance uh, or the impact it has on your cells, on hormone levels, particularly testosterone. It's known to boost testosterone. But in the short story, without getting too technical, it just makes you feel alive. You know, I'm up to 20 seconds at the moment. You can pretty much do 10 seconds off the bat without too much problem. It's uncomfortable, don't get me wrong. But I'm up to 20 seconds. Keep the shower on ice cold, turn it on, bang, you're in. Anyway, having an ice cold bath is another story altogether. But there's uh, lots of studies suggest recovery from exercise, uh, dropping stress levels, dropping cortisol, and boosting uh, hormones, particularly testosterone, as I mentioned. So anyway, why am I doing that? Because this is why. It increases the window of opportunity for you to experience more happiness and more energy. Okay, so what do I mean by that? So here's an example. If you get cold really easy, if you're someone who feels the cold and feels really uncomfortable in the cold and gets unhappy about it, uh, maybe you don't live in England because uh, you know that's gonna be a problem all year round, more or less, <laughs> I guess. But um, if you add that, say you get to, I don't know, 30 degrees, it's pretty cold, uh, body temperature. So what's the temperature today? So it's about 17, say we get to like, seven degrees five degrees it's pretty cold and we get towards zero freezing right if you're able to withstand an extra 0.5 of a degree in temperature you've actually increased your window of not being uh, put into an uncomfortable state of actually staying in a happiness state that window uh, for instance the opposite so if you get uh, to your body temperature raises you know 0.1 and you get uncomfortable so you go to hot yoga and you absolutely can't stand it then your window of getting hot is is decreased so you know, your window of happiness, of not being put off or knocked off your perch, knocked off being in that comfortable state, your window is very small. If you go to hot yoga and increase your window of what the heat you can withstand and still remain happy and joyful and feel good, then you've in increased the window of potential of your happiness and your energy. And the same with the cold as well, if you increase the window uh, there and are able to withstand a little bit more cold, plus the benefits of that as well, hence the cold showers. So if you do that with fasting, as an example, you don't need to eat all the time. I know it said you need to eat every three hours. That's not true. And it's going to become more prevalent uh, mainstream information that the body will not break down muscle tissue. It just won't because you risk, it risks dying. The brain is set and the body is set to keep you alive for as long as possible. Even if you're doing your best to kill yourself, Look at all the bad habits that a lot of us have uh, and the body still stays alive, finds the best way of doing things and it will not break down muscle tissue. So you can go a long period of time without eating. Now, if you use intermittent fasting, you're getting uh, massive amounts of nutrients back in the room. You're getting enough calories in um, to stay nourished and for your bones, for your body, for your heart, for your internal organs to be functioning at optimal. So anyway, you can increase the amount that you can fast and you can get into an airport and, and resist all the bad foods, for instance, that could be there that could do you more harm than good. Uh, and, and it's been four hours, oh, I need to eat. No, you can go six, seven, maybe 10, maybe 12 hours, maybe 16 hours. You can play around with this. I'm not saying you do that every single day for the rest of your entire life, but you can go around in this. And it's something I call, I'm getting into a, a philosophy around. All of this is called phasing. So anyway, I'll go into that another day. So can you increase your window of happiness and energy? Can you do it with heat? Can you do it with cold? Can you do it with food? Can you increase your window where you can actually stretch what you thought was possible and remain happy and remain content, remain comfortable for a bigger window, for a bigger period of time you can go without food, for a bigger period of time you can be in a colder situation, for a bigger period of time you can withstand heat, and so on. You could apply this for anything in your life. Try out for a bigger period of time. You can do more reps, more sets with more weight in the gym, and that takes time. All of it takes repetition, you build it up slowly. So anyway, when you do that, when you apply this technique, this theory, you actually uh, increase your potential for happiness, increase your potential, potential for energy and enjoyment. We all know the goodness in that. Steve, how are you, mate? Hope you're enjoying this glorious day. Uh, I know you are. I'm pretty certain you will be. So we'll end on that one. And what I want to share is um, uh, I'm going to create a private group and we're going to be talking about the techniques of this and, and we'll have some conversations in there uh, of how people have applied these techniques and each one of the techniques that we stack, stacking techniques um, over time and how they apply them in their lives uh, and the benefits from doing that and how that makes us feel because we're all going for a feeling. Do we want to feel more energetic? Do we want to feel more vital? Do we want to have more success and be at working and performing at a higher level? So if you're interested, connection keeps dropping off, finishing off here. So if you're interested in the private group, it's going to be one pound a month, recurring month, leave anytime you want. I guarantee you are over deliver. Type private group in the comment box or send me a message saying private group. Do me one last favor and just type a summary of what you got from this video just so we can look back and see very quickly what it's all about and different people 
but uh, the different points that some people might pick up. All right, have an amazing rest of the day. It's absolutely glorious again, so enjoy it with a smile. Have energy, have vitality. I'll see you tomorrow at 6 p.m. And remember, happy is a skill that you can learn, and this it is a better way to bring out your personal best. Let's go get some health wealth. Let's take the world with us. I'll see you tomorrow at 6 p.m.